You know, you know I've been arrested twice before, right? People just misunderstood me. Just misunderstanding me. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. So do we call you Jerry Lee or Kurt? You know, come down here and get a selfie with me. I'll smile at you. Yeah, yeah. Is that well, you must be here somewhere, so I'm gonna just keep walking. But I did get you on film. <laughs> you want to be a Facebook ghost, I guess. Fair enough. YouTubing. You are? YouTubing, yeah. Awesome. How you guys been? Good. You sound so good, but it's early. Uh. Welcome to back in the 50s. Thank you. It's my first time. Is so, it? Yep. Awesome. Where are you from? Australia. I thought. The accent gives it yes. away. It does give it away. You guys got a car here? Yes. That, was that beard is yours? Nice. Did you restore it? I did that one. I did the pickup. Nice. And how long have you had it for? 25 years. 25 years. Completely junk when you bought it? <laughs> I didn't have a motor on it at that time. But it wasn't junk, it just sat for a long time. Okay, okay. But I got it completed about three or four years ago. Nice. Well, it was a good find then. If, if the body was good still. The body was very good. No okay. rust. Nice. It's unusual for a big window. What year did you say it was? 56. 56. F100. Big window. Big wraparound window. They only made 7,000 with a big wraparound window in the back. Did usually like that when it first came out? Oh, usually smaller like that truck. Oh, that's right, of course. Yeah. Now that's nice, but it's caught my attention. Yeah, this is, is catch up. Oh, yeah. Oh, probably yeah. the only one you'll see here. The only one you'll probably see here. They only made them one year. Made it one year for the Autorama car show. Okay. 1957. 57. If you look at it, the bumper is designed after a Corvette. The only Cadillac that's ever been done that way. One second. <laughs> Beautiful 57 Cadillac. So I'm sitting here with, well I'm standing here with Steve and his friends and we're going to learn about his pickup right here. Chevy pickup. Now I've got no idea what, I'm going to guess Chevy pickup, let me think. With the grills, I could be wrong, 53. Let's have a look at the sticker. No. 39 Chevy truck pickup. And did you say you restored this yourself, sir? Yes, I did. What was the original condition like? It was in pieces in a farmer's field. <laughs> it was. 
it, it was all in pieces and uh, it took two years to restore and I've owned it for 40 years. Wow. So it's been part of the family. So you have put everything together, yes. piece by piece, everything. literally yep. everything. It was in pieces. Yes. That's an absolute beauty. The toughest part of the restoration process? The finishing the body. The paint? paint? Yeah. yeah. Did you have to paint it and then put it back together? Yes, so it was all painted in pieces. You've got to be very careful and gentle. Yes. yes. <laughs> Did you get a new mock ups? <laughs> oh, sure. Yes. Yes, there was. Hard to avoid that. Yep. And for 40 years, how have you been able to maintain it looking so good and brand new? I got a good wife. You got a good wife? Polish. Oh. <laughs> well, that's very nice. At least she's supportive. Yep. Because it looks great. And what's happening here under the hood? What do they what do they call the hoods that open up like this? I keep thinking it's a butterfly or yeah, the butterfly, yes. The butterfly, okay. Can I try and open it from this side? Nice. It's those small little details. Were they always like this? No, that's that's that we put on so it could hold the hood open like that so the wind doesn't catch it. They normally sat up here like this. That's why I'd have the rubber tab on here. Okay. But, but a strong gust of wind could but, but go it off. That's why it's and what's happening here? What do we have? That is a uh, Chevy 350 cubic inch with an automatic transmission with air conditioning. It's a driver? Power steering. It's a driver. Nice. And what's the horsepower on it? 350. Nice. It's good. It's smooth. Yep. Yep. Nice Reliable. Driving. Drive around the streets, yet oh, yeah. it looks like this. Yep. That's great. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for sharing your car. Mm -hmm. How on earth did I miss this? I've been here for almost 10 hours. This is insane. How on earth did I miss it?
having a good time? She's still hanging around. <laughs> How are you going? Um, Beautiful Chevy. You. Where's my Lindy? You gotta love the growing. You have to love the growing. See you there. We are mine and rings my nuts. Hundred percent, and it looks amazing on footage. How long have you had a boat? I'm in 2002. I got me. I'm in 2003. Drive here. Ten. It was all done. It was with me, my great grandpa tour. Oh, nice. No. I did that. Yeah, I toured on the way apart. He did? I. Oh, you toured a bar? Yeah. Completely. There hasn't been a. There wasn't out of it. So nobody else has owned beef except for your grandpa and yourself? I am. Now my, my uncle had it. Yep. Uh, and then he went to the service and he spilled it. Yep. And we got back from the service about four years later. He went on and back from the guy. And we skipped his prize and did very easy tuning. And then I got my man and I went back to him. And I did all the really This is some of the work I've done to it. Did you did, you did all of the work, All of the work. Yeah. yeah. I did have someone do the finish body work and the paint on it. Mm -hmm. But and it was completely off. I did all the metal work and all the machine work too. Well, it looks like it had a baby bit of rust as well. Yes, it did. Yeah. And, and it was something that was surprising because I wasn't wasn't thinking it was that bad. Yeah. And then it, I knew my uncle had wrecked it, hit a tree yeah. up through here, and it had body putty like that thick on it. Oh. Yeah, I took all that out. Yeah. It straightened the best I could. Then this piece here, that's not factory. I end up making it from scratch so I can put my air conditioning and stuff in it. Oh, nice. And I'll blow that in. Wow, that's a lot of work. How long did it take you? Uh, like I said, it was 2002 when I got it, and it, uh, I didn't work on it a lot. 
event. We got Nate on it. He does Nate. So, uh, not thank too you. Bad. Yeah, not too you. bad. No, it's not too bad. That's when it starts coming along and you start seeing it. You can start envisioning, okay, paint was going to go and it's going to start looking a bit more. Yeah. Nice. Like I said, this guy here, he did the finished body work on it. <laughs> and then another guy did the paint for me, so. Did he restore the body and he had to put anything new on it? Uh, I had new rain boards. And then this piece right here, I had to buy and put uh -huh. everything steel on it. On set? Everything steel, no, no fiber to have. Beautiful. Love the five windows. Thank you. And it's a driver? Hey, yeah. Yep. Hence the five windows. Yeah. Oh, look at that tree. Chop up, bro. Beautiful. You really brought it to the century. Amazing. Thank you. You want that? That's nice. That's really nice. What is it? <laughs> the Ellison G6. Can you say that again? Ellison G6. Never seen one of them before. They made 40 of them. They only made 40 of them. We've seen them. This one, 35. And it's been yours the whole time. Okay. It's the line. Come and tell me about the car and tell my viewers because that's a rare find. Yeah. Guy named Jim Kelms from California made a series of body with fiberglass bodies. This one's on a Corvette chassis. And is that what the look, the kind of paint one was it supposed to be that maps when it first came out? Came in just a rough driver It was really just by the last time. It wasn't painted when I bought it. And it looks like a sports car. Right, and calm down. How fast would it go? Huh? How fast would it go? Rammers are long court. Yeah? One of the 40 made aircraft. I mean, yeah, that. Yeah, that was him. Didn't get done or regs or. Yeah. Get done. Finish it on it. I, I love the design of it. That's why I, just, I was walking around. I said, what is that? I have no idea what it is. But I mean, it's just, it, it looks sexy. It, look, it looks just really nice. I'm right here. I've got to build something new. That's it. That's it. And you've been maintaining it yourself? Okay. And what kind of an engine do these have? Got a uh, 327 300. Can we have a look under the hood? Oh, it's real heavy to fit down. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, why is that? There's a lot of fiberglass on it. It takes two people to open the hood. Can I try opening the door? To go around the other side. I want to see how heavy it is. Because they don't make them like this anymore. Oh, no, I, the door. Oh, this one. Yes, I just want to, you're right. I just want to see how heavy it is. Well, this one's in the hood. Wow, ah, this is, this is light. What? Oh, it's got in the hood. And why do you think they made them that heavy? Like, why? They made it. You made it. I got 2,000 hours of labor on here. Because the things that I've done well. And what was the purpose of having the fiber mark? What? Well, the whole car. Later. Here's what you do. Andrew Finney. Beautiful. That's what it originally it was. When I bought it, yeah. I like it now. I like it at all. Yeah. 
Wait. Bad. Um, so what did you do after you sanded it down? <laughs> what, what, I mean... I made the wood scratch. I made scalps. I made them. I made the, I made the center cotton blade. Took an inch and a half off the top of the fender. Mm-hmm. And then I took six inches off the front. Wow. How long did it take you? The, the... I got 30 years on. No, when you were fixing it. In 30 years, just little by little. Not every winter. And drive. Yeah. Oh. That's a beauty. You hold on to that. I can't run. No, I know. Hold on to it. Yeah. <laughs>